Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Gathered together in his name, we are mindful of our wrongdoing. We call upon the Lord for his forgiving mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the source of all life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the source of all my blessings. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you sit at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Bless his glory and praise to our God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea. Beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed, anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses all of that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible. Not to all the people, but to us. The witness chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is one appointed by God as judge of the living in the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. 
the response, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be the stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, for Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ and God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Then the other disciple also went there, 
the one who had arrived at the tomb first. And he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The gospel of the Lord. But alive. 
in every sense possible and dwelling among us. Whenever we repeat the mighty deeds he performed in Galilee, there you will see him. It is there, fully involved in doing that, in doing what he has done, that we will see him. Perhaps that is why the women at the tomb and the women who first witnessed this never before heard or experienced were afraid. Perhaps at some deep level, they knew what this event ultimately would mean. What it would eventually cost all of Jesus' followers then and now. Jesus' resurrection changes everything. No wonder it inspired fear. You and I are asked to assume the role of Jesus. We are invited to a higher calling and a much more risky one. It will cost us dearly, but it will also transform us amazingly. Christ is risen. Christ is going before us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And now I call forth Caleb and Neil and the God of the Please come forward. Dearly beloved sisters and brothers, let's invoke the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ for this child about to receive the grace of baptism and for our godparent and all baptized. Give this child new birth and baptism in the radiant divine mystery of your death and resurrection and join her to your holy church. And so let us pray. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Josephine Pepita, pray for us. Saint Felicity, pray for us. Saint Francis of Assisi, pray for us. Saint Clara of Assisi, pray for us. Saint Caleb, pray for us. Saint Martin de Porres, pray for us. Saint Benedict the Black, pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God. Pray for us. Almighty ever living God, you sent your Son into the world to drive out from us the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, and bring the human race rescued from darkness to the marvelous kingdom of your light. We humbly beseech you to free this child from original sin and make her the temple of your glory, and to grant that your Holy Spirit may dwell in her through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the strength of Christ to save and protect you as a sign of this, we anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, dear brothers and sisters, that the Lord God Almighty may bestow new life on this child by water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray, O Lord, come down through your Son into the fullness of his Father, so that all who have been buried with Christ and by baptism into death may also rise again to life with him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear Caleb, Godparents, and congregation, through the sacrament of baptism, this child has been presented and is about to receive from the love of God new life by water of the Holy Spirit. For our part, we must strive to help her in, her in the growth of her faith, so that this divine life may be preserved from the contagion of sin and may, grow, and may grow in her day by day. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, then mindful of your own baptism, renounce sin and confess faith in Christ Jesus 
with Caleb, the faith of the church and with children are all baptized. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Amen. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? Amen. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Is it your will then, Caleb, that you should receive baptism into the faith of the church, which we have all professed with you? Caleb, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin and given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and joined you in his joined you to his people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, so that you may remain as a member of Christ, priest, prophet, and king unto everlasting life. Amen. Caleb, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. May see this white garment as a sign of your Christian dignity, with your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring an unstained into everlasting life. Amen. Amen. You see the light of Christ. God, parents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly, so that this child, enlightened by Christ, may walk always as a child of the light, and persevering in the faith, may run to meet the Lord when he comes with all the saints in the heavenly court. Amen. 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 Baptized in Christ, you are clothed with Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear brothers and sisters, this child reborn through baptism is now called a child of God, and so indeed she is. Through confirmation, she will receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit and approach the altar of the Lord. She will share at the table of his sacrifice and will call upon God as Father in the midst of the church. Now it is her name and in the spirit of adoption as sons and daughters, which we have all received, let us pray together as the Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Father, as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us, and we are not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us now welcome the newest member of our community here at the Lutheran. Please stand. The triumph of the resurrection inspires us with confidence in God's everlasting love. We bring our prayer to the God of our life. Our response will be risen Lord, hear our prayers. At the joy of Easter, when we confuse the church with energy to proclaim God's good news, let us pray to the Lord. 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 In all nations of the world, 
will allow the celebration of Easter and allow it to bring hope to all. We pray to the Lord. Lord. And those who have recently received the sacrament of intuition will grow ever closer to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. They all for whom this Easter is not joyful will know that they are not alone and will experience Christ's compassionate presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. They all gather here will be filled with the strength of Christ's spirit and will seek out creative ways to witness to the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. They all who have died, especially Jason Fisher, Willie Ambrose, Barbara Turner, Sam Carter, and Father Cation, not Barbara, will share in Christ's conquering of death. Let us pray to the Lord. Please add your own intentions. May strengthen and guide us with grace and truth. Empower us to be enlightened in every arena of life, transcending every adversity and obstructions. And to march on with grace and truth, God, we pray for our future success. May we have faith and love in new life and all things concerning Christ and church. Praise the Lord. This is all of life. Hold on to God of life, you have promised to be with us always. Hear this prayer we pray before you in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. 
work of human hand will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord, Lord God, of all creation, with your goodness we have received the wine you offer me. Who the divine and work of human hands will become our spiritual gift. Bless you, God, Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and Almighty Father. Exalted with passion gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice of which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to proclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, the Lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true man who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, he has restored our life. Therefore, overcome with passive joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they have played. Francis, our Pope, and Francis, our Bishop of all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
God who made this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the resurrection. Stir up in your church the spirit of adoption that in you, the body and mind, we may render you undivided service through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the reign in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. First of all, I would like to uh, ask Karen to come forward once again to receive the certificates for her baptism and first communion. As you know, our celebrations on the first Sunday of the month is for birthdays and wedding anniversaries during the month. So those celebrating birthdays during the month of April, please come forward for a special blessing. It'll be birthdays during the month of April. Which day do you celebrate? 25th? 13th? So we can try. I'm on the 3rd, my godmother's on the 4th, Keith's mom is on the 5th, and his sister's on the 18th, so he can't do nothing. 7th. 7th. It's crazy to say that Brenda and Brad are the brothers of my grandson, Frederick. Oh, wow. God of all creation, we offer great praise to your father. For the prayers of your servants who talk today the day of their birth, and twice with your life and all of their prayers. Bless them with your presence and surround them with your love. That they may enjoy many happy years, all their bliss to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Son and his family, and so that we will not have a mass on Wednesday at four o'clock this week. So no mass Wednesday at four o'clock this week. The Dasa Stuart Field Pledge donation cards are in the back of the church with the envelopes. Uh, if you've already donated, thank you very much. For those who still need to do so, please do so when you can. The Crawfish Boil fundraiser is planned for May 15th with some modifications due to the pandemic. However, uh, we will have crawfish, neck bones, chicken wings, hamburgers, etc. Also, we have a raffle. The parishioners' raffle sheets are in the back of church. So if anyone needs more raffle sheets, they are also available. Some small business vendors will, can participate also if they wish. That's crawfish bowl, May 15th. Also, ask everyone to please return to rent rice bowls as soon as possible after Easter. Uh, also, after Mass today, after Mass today, we will have an Easter egg hunt for the children. Uh, so let the children go and see the, the baskets. And uh, the baskets are in the back, right? Okay. okay. Actually, for zero to five, <laughs> your Easter egg hunt is right out of front of the church. So come to the back and have the basket. Uh, if he's six years older and older, and Easter egg hunt, a lot of us go to the six. But in Easter egg hunt, grab a basket, we're going to go out the sideboard, dirty Easter egg hunt in the picnic area. So the picnic area for six years and older, from the church, five years and a half. 
Good luck. I hope that works. <laughs> Is there any other announcements for today? Right here, right? Oh no, I said they ain't here. Oh, I mean, well, I guess it's just. Oh, no. Allison. Oh, 
Like I'm awesome. 